This is a skills exercise that gets students familiar with this idea of using strings and batter boards to lay out a foundation. So it starts with um, assuming that you have a hard surface that you're working off of, say, a concrete warehouse or any space where you cannot stake into the ground. Obviously, if you can drive stakes in the ground, this works much easier. But if you don't have that option, you can make these simple trays, use a cement block to weight the tray down and attach your batter boards to that tray. Now you can run your strings and then the students can square them up using a plumb line, uh, tape measures, and their squaring skills. And this is about as close to you can, as you can get to doing this in the field without literally staking these batter boards in the ground and doing all this that way. The other thing that helps here is that if, if the batter boards are not exactly in the right place, it's easy to shift them around to get the right setup to start with. Of course, once the batter boards are generally in the right place, it's a matter of just moving the string on the batter board. But you, as you can see, for a student and for the setup of this, you could set it up really quickly and the students could do it. And you can also very easily change the dimensions of whatever you're trying to square. This is called out here on the drawings as 20 by 20. You could easily do it at a 10 by 10 foot or 100 by 100 feet and use the same setup just with longer or more string. So we were always trying to find creative ways and opportunities to do something like these squaring exercises that are so important in building, especially when we're talking about doing this foundation work. And I thought this was a great way to pre-assemble these little weighted trays, add the concrete blocks for weight, and now we have batter boards that we can move around and uh, change as, as we needed for whatever exercise we were doing. So I hope that makes sense. If you're looking for some of that squaring and layout practice, this might be the way to go. Check out this and other resources in our catalog, and I'll see you in the next one.